What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're gonna be going over the top stocks and cryptos to watch for this upcoming week. We're gonna be going over exactly the price levels that are key to these stocks and cryptocurrencies, why these price levels are super important and the major catalyst that is going to significantly affect these stocks and cryptos that I'm gonna be talking about. So make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. So as you can see over here, the first crypto that we're gonna be talking about is going to be Dogecoin. So as you can see over here, the past few weeks has been horrendous for the cryptocurrency market. We've seen corrections up to from 40 to 50% from all time highs. So that is a very massive dip that we are seeing right now for Doge, you know, for Doge, for Ethereum, for Bitcoin, Doge at one point went all the way below 20 cents and yesterday it went below 20 cents also but however today it recovered pretty well we're sitting at 36 cents and it's up 20 percent so that is fantastic we have a new development that came for cryptocurrencies right now especially with elon musk tweeting about dogecoin and also bitcoin so as you can see right here when you look at the few hours ago that elon musk actually tweeted about Dogecoin, as you can see, he said that if you like to help develop Doge, please submit ideas on GitHub and you can be able to actually help the development of Dogecoin by going to the website and developing and submitting your ideas. And he had also tweeted about someone suggested changing Dogecoin fees based on phases of the moon, which is pretty awesome. So he likes that. And he also talked about Bitcoin. So that is really important because the last time we saw this massive correction that happened to Bitcoin. It started with Elon Musk, you know, announcing that Tesla was no longer going to be accepting Bitcoin as a form of currency to buy Tesla vehicles. And after that, we also saw China coming out and saying that they're going to be banning crypto, that they're going to be more aggressive on mining and etc. And that drastically affected the entire crypto market for massive correction so this is relatively a more positive tweet in a way he tweeted a few hours ago saying that spoke with north american bitcoin miners they committed to publish current and planned renewable usage and to ask miners which way to do so potentially promising so this is pretty good for bitcoin and the price actually started to recover you know when you look at the price action also for ethereum and for bitcoin you know there was experiencing a massive correction a massive crash so bitcoin is down more than 50 percent at one point uh from the all-time highs as you can see even it went below you know thirty thousand dollars but right now we're sitting close to forty thousand dollars so we're sitting at a very pretty critical price point so the price level that we need to be watching out for bitcoin is of course the thirty thousand dollar mark you know it's been acting as a very phenomenal support so far it's been tested more than three times as you can see over here in the past we you know get closer to thirty thousand and then we bounce back and then we broke out to the upside and over here too when we had this massive correction massive selling off that happened it stopped at thirty thousand dollars so that is a key level we need to be watching out for and another important key price point level we need to be watching out for is going to be $40,000. So if it can potentially break out of $40,000 or if it can stay between the range, it is a pretty good sign, you know, that we actually bottomed out. But, you know, you never know what can potentially happen, what news can come out. We might potentially see another drop to $20,000, you know. So if it breaks below $30,000, the second price target it could potentially go to is twenty thousand dollar area so that is going to be a critical price point level to watch for bitcoin so another cryptocurrency is of course ethereum that you need to be watching out for because you know we experiencing a massive correction and crash the past few days if you want to go aggressive and buy and buy the dip on any of these cryptocurrencies it's really important to focus on the ones that have a very long-term potential these are going to be like bitcoin ethereum and also Doge, they're going to be around for a while. So it's better to really allocate your attention and focus to just focus on the ones that might last longer than the other altcoins, like all the meme coins, like Shiba coin, like SafeMoon and etc. 
those can definitely get hurt you know when people start pull money out instead these are the coins that can potentially last a while so when ethereum also it dropped all the way from the highs of four thousand three hundred dollars it dropped all the way below two thousand dollars so that was a key price point level to need to be watching out for it's going to be two thousand dollars and the second key level that we need to be watching out for is going to be $2,500 right now. We're up today more than 22%. So it's looking pretty good, but it's not really convincing to actually say that the trend has changed. We're still in a downtrend. It seems like it's like a dead cat bounce in a way. We still need major announcements, major buying in from different institutions to help this correction or this crash to be over pretty soon so that is an important thing to look at but in the meantime if it stays above two thousand dollars and just consolidates that is a good sign and if it goes below that we might potentially see it go to you know a thousand five hundred or thousand three hundred dollars you know so that is the worst case scenario but in the meantime definitely keep an eye on you know bitcoin ethereum and the dogecoin at the same time too but when you look at exactly the stock market, we have some major companies that are going to be announcing their earnings this upcoming week. We have uh, the retail stocks like Target announced their earnings before market opens today. We have Dix, we have Nvidia, we have Costco. You know, these are all the major companies that are going to be announcing their earnings this upcoming week. I'm mainly focused on Nvidia. So Nvidia announced a few days ago that they are going to be doing a stock split. So that's going to be a phenomenal catalyst to watch out for. And also their earnings, their past earnings numbers were phenomenal. So definitely keep an eye on Nvidia. I'm going to later on talk about exactly you know, some of the technical analysis, some of the key price point levels we need to be watching out for, of course. And if you're also somebody that wants to get involved in retail stocks, this is the time to see how their earnings report is going to be looking like, right? So we have Costco that's doing pretty phenomenal the past few weeks. The past few months, it's recovered pretty well, especially after Easter. And it had a really phenomenal rally. So we'll see what they have to say, you know, their earnings report and see if there's going to be any new changes and things like that. And if we see any kind of drop, it is a great time to get involved in it. And also we have you know, TD Ameritrade announcing earnings report. And the main ones that I'm going to focus, as I mentioned, is going to be NVIDIA. So let's check out and see exactly you know, what to look out for NVIDIA earnings report. And let's see what to expect from it, right? So NVIDIA is currently sitting at $624. They announced the stock split right around over here. And we have a massive gap up and we went above $600. And we continued to break out of the $614 area right around over here. And we closed above it today. So that is fantastic. Even in after hours, it's going higher. It's going to $628.71. So the near the short-term price target for this of earnings, if earnings does not affect it, is for Nvidia to make a new all-time highs of around 648 to be above that price point. So the 52-week high price point right around over here, we're getting closer to it. So we have this massive catalyst of the stock split. We know exactly what happened to Tesla. We know exactly what happened to Apple. You know, once they announced the stock split, you know, the stack ran massively in spite of that catalyst. So it's going to be a fantastic thing to look at right now if the same thing happens to Nvidia. So definitely keep your eye on Nvidia stock. They announced their earnings report Wednesday after the market closed. So that is going to be really interesting to see how the price is going to be behaving. But of course, I'm super bullish on this stock in the short term. We'll see if it could potentially hit new all time highs pretty pretty soon so let's look at let's go over exactly you know what happened to the stock market today also as you can see over here we had a phenomenal day today we have microsoft apple tesla up four percent definitely needed this bounce because tesla has been getting crushed this past few weeks right now today it went above the 600 dollars mark which is pretty good we have semiconductors that perform very very well they perform strong just like what will we see from the financials and energy stock that they've been doing the past few months so overall the stock market is looking pretty good but we have to be super careful because may it's the general trend is actually to the downside so we'll see if this week 
that started this week is going to have a continuation. So let me know in the comment section below if you're going to get involved in any of the stocks or cryptos that I talked about. Let me know if you're going to be holding any of the cryptos. If you sold out of your cryptos, are you going to be going back into crypto again since it dipped a lot? I want to know. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to get free stocks, free Bitcoin, etc., check out the links in the description box. Make sure you manage your risk because these cryptos, you know, they can go up and down a lot like 10 50 percent one day a drop you have 50 percent a matter of like two three days so you have to be super careful and manage your risk when it comes to getting involved in any of these cryptos or stocks that i talk about but that's going to be this video that's going to be it for this video i catch you guys on another video let's get it for tomorrow have a wonderful day